Open page 448, Dreams of Flight. Now, this is the new mural we're going to talk about now. Now, who, who, who's the artist who painted this mural? David Botello. You remember David Botello? He's the older brother of Paul, or Paul who drew the shared hope, the one we're talking about now. Now, David Botello, he was like his brother Paul. He loved to paint and dreamed of becoming an artist. All his life, he wanted to become an artist. When he was in the third grade like you, he and his art partner inside the class, his partner, his name was Wayne Haley. Now, they painted a mural of a dinosaur in the art class. This is, was only inside the class in their school when they were young in the third grade. Now, little did David know that the dinosaur mural was the first of many murals he would paint with Wayne. Now, what happens? He never knew that this dinosaur will become the first mural he will draw when he grew up and become a man. Okay? And he become an artist. Now, what happens? Years later, the childhood friends, now both artists, decided to go into business together painting murals. Now, David and Wayne, when they grew up together, they wanted to work together and paint and make real paintings together. Now, they create and paint murals together, but not always. But most of the times, David and Wayne would paint and create murals together. Now, what did David do? David painted a large mural called Dreams of Flight. He painted a large mural called Dreams of Flight at Estrada Courts, a public housing project in Los Angeles. So this is the place where he drew the mural called Dreams of Flight. He says, I've always wanted this mural to speak to children who see it and to say your dreams can come true. Now, his message or what, what he wanted to say from this mural, he wanted to say that when every child look at this mural, he would, they would believe that their dreams can come true. So he inspires little children when they see this amazing drawing of a children growing up and achieving their dreams to start to feel like them, they, like they can really achieve their dreams. It's interesting to note, it's a very nice, it's something nice to, 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 to understand what when the artist repainted that mural 17 years after it was originally completed. After 17 years when it was completed, he changed one of the children from a boy to girl. You Why you think he changed the boy from a uh, painting from a, a boy to girl? Because this is very important. Much had changed over the years. And the artist wanted all children to know that girls can dream of flying model airplanes too. If it's the artist hope that over time the mural will inspire many of the children who see it to work hard and follow their dreams. He wanted also girls to believe. Look. He changed this boy to become a girl because he always wanted girls to believe that they can also uh, to have a dream of flight. That they can also. Uh, become a uh, flying uh, airplane they can fly an airplane too not only boys can do it but girls can also dream of something and they can achieve it and it can come true so this was his large mural that he drew it it's called dreams of flight look at this a boy can reach up and this boy is playing and everyone is trying to become what they want this little boy become an astronaut and this is holding a wings and they can fly across the sky and reach whatever they want. This is dreams of flight. Now go to page 450. Cities large and small invite artists to paint special murals in public places for everyone to see. So all the people now started to invite artists or muralists to come and paint special murals in public places, in places where all people can come and see. Now murals are talking walls. Murals are finally how talks, how walls can talk through murals. They speak to the people. When you look at the murals, you will feel and see that they are trying to tell you something. They are trying to give you an example of people who, who made their dreams come true. Community murals tell stories of personal, political, and social beliefs of the, of the local residents. Some murals inspire or amuse us, while others 
stir our hearts. So this is the message. This is the reason behind the mural. Not only to see a nice drawing and to like it. No, it has a message. When you look at the mural, you will feel it tells you to something. It speaks to you without a word, without reading a book. Okay, now this is the final page and this is how the walls can talk through murals. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, you can feel free to ask me.